The first thing was beatboxing. I remember hearing Lottie Dottie. I remember hearing Buffy, seeing that like, yo, dude, that was so sick. I fell in love with it. You know, I was like, yo, how is that even possible? It's definitely lost art. You hear dudes spitting rhymes all day. You can be on a train, the bus, for wherever you go. It's so dope to hear that. But beatboxing, man, that's far and few. It changed into more like a, a drum kit, kind of like you hear it to you know, I'm not knocking the hustle. Like, that's dope because you're carrying on a tradition. What I want to hear more of is more of you. What are you bringing? What are you adding to it? <laughs> Killer Sin from Killer Army heard me freestyling. He's like, yo, you dope, man. This is, this is hot. He's like, you can make money with that. He's like, yo, man, do something with that. So that's where I really took it up at any kind of serious level. No home, but manage to film an actual video. Having a sign for better Simon, I'm inhabiting. Cities grows dark and rat infest. The manifest is red. The man is desperate. Add him in and breaks it to my locker. Have a question. Fuck is your character to damage your man's camera with a mattress next to yours? I'm just filming my dog's video who's past the skill asking y'all to look at some of window. I was in and out of hospitals fighting for my life. My family didn't even know my life was on the line. Nobody knew. Something that was tangible was hip hop. I fought to get better knowing I had a purpose. And the more you write about some inner demon, tragic events, maybe a lost one, the pen and paper doesn't stand back at you and go, oh no, you can't do it. You can't stand in front of a mic and the mic's like, wow, look, look what you have to say about such and such. This is everything to me. A couple of heads around the way were like, let's go catch tags. I was like, I don't have a tag name, you know? And they were like, all right, you know what you do? So they handed me a couple of markers. They were like, all right, get your tag name. My first tag name was Bobo. That was actually the name of my dog. I'm not an artist that could be thrown away, pushed off to the side. Everybody feels expendable sometime. Whether you don't make enough, you don't have enough, maybe your family shuns you or you don't even have family when that hurts so it's like you know what this is the end of that how can i do that well i could apply that through music did i say what i wanted to say can they walk away with something did i did i empower some of these kids that i empower somebody going through something around the world or did i just get an extra couple of commas and a couple of rhymes you know did i go from rhyming 10 times to 12 times within those two sentences and sometimes you know i step back from that and say you know what i'd rather have the substance for them to walk away with something